Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about complex fractions. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, 4 fifths over 2 over 25 minus 5 over 16, and we have to simplify this expression. Well, first thing is, I'm going to leave that 4 fifths in the numerator, the big numerator. The denominator, I want to have a common denominator. So an easy way to do that is I take my 2 over 25 and multiply that by a 16 over 16, that denominator. Do the same thing with the second half, 5 over 16, and I'll multiply that by this denominator, 25, over itself. It's kind of a quick, easy way to do it, to find a common denominator. So in doing so, again, I still have my 4 fifths in the big numerator, and denominator would multiply this out. 2 times 16 is at 32, over 25 times 16, which is a 400. Same thing here, 25 times 25 is a 125 over 400. We now can combine that denominator, so I'll do that over here. Okay, so we have that 4 fifths over, we had the same denominator, 400, so 32 minus a 25 is a negative 93 over 400. Now the way I like to write this with this big division here, I say, okay, 4 fifths divided by negative 93 over 400, which hopefully you can see is a multiplication problem. 4 fifths times, we flip this fraction, 400 over a negative 93. Multiply that out, 4 times a 400 is a 1600, and 5 times a 93 is 465. And don't forget the negative, we can put it in the numerator now. It really doesn't matter. From there, both of these numbers are divisible by 5. 1600 divided by 5 is 320. Don't forget the negative. And 465 divided by 5 is good old 93 that we saw again. And so our final answer here is negative 320 over 93. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.